One is the world's largest EV company from China, and the other is the king of the AI world from the USA. Just hearing these two names together is exciting, isn't it? These two giants are drawing forces. Many EV fans have been complaining that the BYD has no special features in terms of the intelligence and has been left far behind by Tesla, Huawei's Ito or New or the other new energy vehicle companies. This time I feel that the strong alliance with Nvidia will have a lot of expectation. So how explosive is this cooperation? Today's video will show you all about this. In addition, I have many thoughts and some concerns about their cooperation this time. For example, whether the competitive landscape in this field of new energy vehicles will change and whether BYD's adoption of chips from foreign manufacturers means facing US sanctions and other sensitive issues will be covered in my video today, so don't miss it. I'm Sheila Wang, I'm here to update it on the most cutting edge and fresh business and investment information for you. So don't forget to smash the like, like button and subscribe my channel. I also welcome you to join the discussion in the comments below. And if you're interested in more in-depth investing report, make sure to check out my analysis report down below. Now, let's we dive into today's topic. First, let's take a look at the highlights of the collaboration between these two giants. Today, we're announcing that BYD, the world's largest EV company, is adopting our next generation. It's called Thor. Thor is designed for transformer engines. Thor, our next generation AV computer, will be used by BYD. Meanwhile, NVIDIA's AI computing platform will support the training of BYD's autonomous driving AI models. Third, BYD's factory will enhance the efficiency and safety of production line robots using the ISAC platform. Well, this quick will tell us that this partnership is like a match made in AI heaven. Since NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang first viewed the bench about their collaboration at 2022 GTC conference, the two companies have been getting cozy. You know, BYD isn't just dipping its toes in the NVIDIA pool. They're diving hand first into the entire NVIDIA AI supply chain, including GPU and AI. AI enterprise software. NVIDIA even hinted that BYD will be using their data center infrastructures to train deep learning models. So it's not just a casual fling, BYD is going all in and they can afford it. You know what? BYD's estimated net profit for the last year is a whopping 42 to 45 billion dollars. But hold up, there's more. At the GTC conference, NVIDIA revealed that they're been busy making friends left and right, such as the Li Auto Grid World models, Zikr and Xiaomi have all signed up for NVIDIA's hardware support for their self-driving system. So why sudden love for NVIDIA? I think it's all about drive soar. Their in-car computing platform designed for the future of AI-powered vehicles. 10 terabytes of data between them, 10 terabytes per second. As a successor to Drive Orange, Thor offers a full suite of features. From fancy cabin experience to safe and reliable autonomous driving, all rolled into one centralized platform. Now, here's where it gets interesting, folks. Remember when President Biden was all worried about Chinese EVs threatening American national security? If you don't know what I'm saying about, you can check my last video about these things. Well, with NVIDIA's chips powering BYD's cars, Biden can rest easy. Plus, could this mean that BYD and other Chinese EV makers might have a shot at entering the U.S. market? Hey, it's just a bold guess, but the possibilities are endless. Come to hear some of my savvy stock issues as might be scratching their hands wondering why car makers are cozy up to NVIDIA instead of Chinese Huawei. Isn't Huawei the Chinese tech giant? 
Should they be supporting their homegrown hero? Well, folks, this question perfectly illustrates China's stance on free market competition. And on the other hand, Huawei has its own car brand as we all know that. This is unforgettable truth. And its models like the Ito have been setting the market place since 2023. But that puts it in direct competition with other car makers. Enter NVIDIA, the undisputed king of AI computing. Its drive oring platform gives car makers a third-party option to boost their self-driving capabilities and stay competitive. Plus, this situation is like a copy from the smartphone industry. Just like many Chinese phone makers opted for Android over Huawei's Harmony OS, car makers have similar concerns. To break it down, many Chinese EV makers have their signs set on global domination. I mean, Huawei's limited presence in overseas market is no secret as we all know, right? The US sanction about the Huawei and car makers don't want to risk getting caught in the crossfire. Partnering with NVIDIA gives them an alternative path to success. Secondly, aligning with Huawei in the domestic market would mean surrendering their self-driving solutions to Huawei's control. This could limit their ability to charge a premium for their products. For example, Li Auto and Huawei Autos are direct competitors with similar product positioning and focuses on self-driving. If Li Auto teams up with Huawei, it's like waving a white flag and saying we're giving up our self-driving independence. That would hurt their brand value and make it harder to justify their premium pricing. On the other hand, partnering with NVIDIA allows them to frame it as a collaborative effort with their co-developing the technology. This gives them more leverage to charge a premium. Last but not least, Huawei's production capacity and self-driving technology still lag behind NVIDIA. It's a fact that we have to acknowledge. NVIDIA's proven track record and stable supply chain give car makers more confidence in meeting their production demands. Why D playing with fire by using NVIDIA chips? Free market collaboration all boils down to one thing, their profit to be made. But, with the world getting more unpredictable, it's hard to say when that invisible hand, you know what I mean, is going to give you the finger. I'm sure both Jason Huang and Wang Chuanfu, the CEO of the BYD, has already felt this firsthand. So, does BYD's decision to use foreign chips expose it to the risk of US sanctions this time? And uh, has BYD learned from Huawei's experience and prepared a backup plan? No, the answer is mostly like yes. Car makers will eventually develop their own chips. Just because they're choosing NVIDIA now doesn't mean they're all reliant on them forever. Many are already working on their own chips. As I mentioned in the last video, NIO has already announced that it self-developed an autonomous driving chip. It's an open secret that Li Auto is also developing its own AI chip. Right now, car makers and suppliers are in love run heat relationship. They collaborate, but they also keep a watchful eye on each other. NVIDIA, Mobileye, and Horizon are all trying to develop their own autonomous driving algorithms to hedge against the risk of car makers developing their own chips. So, for some car makers, NVIDIA is just a temporary solution until they can stand on their own two feet. For NVIDIA itself, the challenge is to meet the demand for powerful chips from Chinese consumers while also complying with U.S. stricter export controls on advanced semiconductors to China. But from a market competition perspective, NVIDIA's presence is not a bad thing for Chinese manufacturers. Like Tesla, it did a K 
catfish effect. I mean, stimulating domestic players like Huawei to keep innovating and competing with Nvidia. So the government is really smart, right? The next two to three years will be a showdown between Nvidia's autonomous driving capabilities and Huawei's. It's not over yet, and I will keep you updated on all the twists and turns. So if you want to get in the loop of it, please smash that subscribe button and let witnessing this exciting era together. See you next time.